Welcome to the Knackle News Network. The Knackle News Network is brought to you by Massey Knackle Realty Services, New York's number one building sales firm. Hello, I'm Paul Bubney, Managing Editor of Globestreet.com, and welcome to the Knackle News Network. We're here today with Bob Knackle, Chairman of Massey Knackle, and today, Bob, we're going to talk about supply and demand. Looking at the supply and demand right now, how is that affecting the market? Well, supply and demand always dictates what happens in the investment sales market in New York. Uh, and we're so used to being spoiled here, actually, because our demand always excessively exceeds the supply of available properties that we have. Um, if you look at the long-term historical averages of the number of properties that trade in the city, um, the average turnover ratio is about 2.6%, meaning that 2.6 out of every 100 properties that exist in the city sell in the average year, which means on average they hold the property for about 40 years before they sell it. So there's never an oversupply of properties available. You said recently that we're going to be uh, looking at a banner year for 2014 for uh, property sales. What is uh, bringing that about? Well, I think, again, because supply is so integral to the overall activity in the marketplace, we believe we're going to see a big increase in supply. Um, we believe that because of the tremendous appreciation that we've seen in pricing, uh, where certain sectors are, are doing phenomenally well, and all sectors are selling for higher prices per square foot than they did at the peak of the market in 2007, we believe that these high prices are going to be very compelling for property owners to want to take advantage of them. Uh, there are a number of folks out there who believe that all of this activity that's been created and the values that have been created have been created because of the artificially low interest rate environment that the government has created for us. And thank you very much, Washington. And we've already seen early in 2014 a number of people who are coming to market with, with individual properties, portfolios of properties, looking to take advantage of the astronomical pricing that we're seeing in the market today. What we saw in 2007 to what we have today, what does the financing picture look like? Well, there's a lot more financing available today, and, and fortunately, to lenders' credit, uh, they are not being as aggressive with the loan-to-values. Loan-to-value ratios were much higher in 2007, uh, as they always seem to get before a downturn. And what we're seeing is that the marketplace is very competitive, but even in this extraordinarily competitive environment, uh, lenders are still maintaining relatively conservative loan-to-value ratios. Uh, so that bodes very well uh, for the marketplace moving forward because even if there is a diminution in value, uh, property owners still should have positive equity in their properties. Looking at, at the uh, demand side, who is uh, buying at this uh, point? Well, at this point, it's just about everybody. Uh, if you look at how the buyers have transitioned over time, you know, again, you go back to the bubble inflating years of 2005, 6, and 7, it was mostly institutional capital that, that inflated that bubble. Then in 2000, late 2007, early 2008, when we really started to feel the effects of the credit crisis, that institutional capital got out of the market, uh, and most of the transactions we did for a number of years were with high net worth individuals and families. Um, after a couple of years of sitting around trying to figure out what to do, that institutional capital has re-emerged. I think it's stronger today than ever. Uh, but we still have the high net worth individuals and families that are competing with that institutional capital. And we have all these foreign buyers that are coming into the market looking for the safety and security of uh, U.S.-based assets, and particularly in the real estate sector, um, New York City properties are at the top of the list for these foreign buyers. In summary, today demand exceeds supply by a terrific margin. Buyers are coming in from all over the country and all over the globe to own a piece of the Big Apple. Current market conditions are exerting tremendous upward pressure on pricing, which will compel property owners to sell this year. We believe this will lead to record volume. Thank you for joining us today. Tune in next week for another installment on the NACL News Network.